Hold on. Emergency. Hold on. Turn that off. Saving bandwidth. Had something planned. Woo. What's up, Vapors? What's happening, Vapors? It's your Vape at Five. I am your host. I am Black Cat. I have a fantastic show for you today. I'm super excited about... <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me let me, start, let, let me clear my throat. I have a fantastic show for you guys today. Super excited. A couple things going on. First, we're going to take a look at an RDA that was sent to me by a gentleman named Tony. Um, he typically is in the chat. I don't know if Tony Barry is here or not, but if he is, hey Tony, thank you. Um, and we're going to take a look at that. It's it's an older RDA. Uh, I believe the first rendition of it was made in 2015. So uh, this rendition was made around then as well, to late 2015, 2016, I believe. It's the first I can I first I found of it. It's called the Ghost 2 RDA. It is by LMMS, which stands for Lose Micro Machining Shop. It's I believe it's out of Georgia, so it's American made. This is an American made RDA that is the highest of quality, the highest of uh, machining and just absolute perfection in the way it was made. So I'm really, really excited to let you guys take a look at this. You've never seen it. Uh, if you're newer to vaping and you don't remember when it was first released, I don't. I didn't start vaping until 2016. So I was already, uh, and I was using sub ohm tanks at the time, so I wasn't using revealables then. Uh, so it was new to me and hopefully it'll be new to you and I can maybe take you back a little bit and show you really the innovation of this RDA. Um, you know, compared to what we have now, it really, it, it actually holds its own today, I feel, with today's RDAs. But for what was going on back then, this thing was just ahead of its time. So really excited to do that. The second thing we have going on, which is very important and awesome, is it is Shy Tots Week. And now, as you know, with Shy Tots Week, we are going crazy with giveaways. Fucking crazy. <laughs> crazy with giveaways. Today, I'm giving away 300, Jane and I are giving away 350, 350 milliliters of e-juice. Now, I'm gonna call this giveaway vaping until Easter because you are going to have enough e-juice to vape until Easter. The first of the giveaways is this five pack, Mont Blanc, Gone Ape, L'Amour, RNC, and Life's Peachy. Life's Peachy, I did a quick review on yesterday during the show, Mont Blanc, you all know, and Gone Ape, you would know as well. The second giveaway now to enter this giveaway, this is for two of Jane's builder line. This is Spaceman. This is Spaceman, Spaced Coils, the gentleman that we featured this week, Daniel. I don't know if he's actually in the chat or not, but if he is, hey Daniel, how you doing? Uh, this is the second giveaway. To enter this giveaway, all you had to do, or do if you haven't done it yet, is to repost from Spaced Coils IG page the picture that you like the be the best with the hashtag Black Cat Fam. Make sure you put an at symbol at Spaced Coils as well. Um, we're going to do those giveaways after I'm done with the, uh, we're going to, I have a build in the RDA. You'll see, I already have it built. I'm going to wick it, juice it, and do all that after the review. Um, I don't know if it's so much of a review. I'm just going to tell you about the product, tell you where you can get, I guess it is a review, but <clears throat> ultimately this thing sells itself. There's nothing about it that's like, you're going to be like, oh, Scott told me that and it's going to sell. No, I'm just going to tell you about the RDA. It, it, it's really a piece of art and uh, a work of art. And uh, just you guys can decide whether you want to buy it or not. I put a link in the description where you can go to the gentleman's Lou's Facebook page and you can purchase the RDA if you so desire. I, and I put the cost. I believe it's $95, but don't hold me to that. Uh, the price may have changed. That price was when it originally came out. So I will preface by saying I'm not sure of the price of it. Now, it may cost more um, just because it is, you know, made to order. So he's making them as you order them. Uh, which I think is just, that's just fucking awesome. That's just fucking awesome. All right, without further ado, uh, what time is it? We got 5.07. I'm going to go through, I'm going to start the review. We got about 50 people. So I'll go ahead and start the review. Um, and then we'll say hi to everybody. And then we'll do the giveaway. So everybody stick around for that. All right. So 
This RDA, as I will restate, was sent to me by Tony Berry for the purposes of this review. He actually didn't ask me to review it, but I committed to him that I would prior to him sending it to me. And the reason I did is because he's sending me this high-end RDA. Um, I consider a high-end RDA. If you look at the machining, you'll you'll agree. Um, so I felt like I, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to at least show it off and show your generosity to to the family here, to the viewing audience, you know, the people who watch this every day of, of some, that nice gesture you did for me. Um, when I first started using it, uh, here, so here is the Ghost V2 RDA. See if I can get it to focus in on there. Look at that engraving. Well, come on, focus. It probably won't. I'll, I'll show it to you in the down low. You can get a small glimpse of it there, but here it is. Now, the first thing you're going to notice about it is the size. Um, it is, it's really the size of an RTA. It's a 25 millimeter diameter. It is 33 millimeters to the top of the, like the second half of the top cap, not including the drip tip. Um, so it's a, it's a fairly large RDA. It's not something that, not, not a lot of people followed that. And, and quite frankly, what it looks like to me is a 25 millimeter goon with a top on top of it. But I believe this was actually put out before the goon. So, you know, it's not copying. This, this RDA is not copying off of anyone. Um, it was made in Georgia. The, I'll bring it, let, let me bring it down and I'll show you exactly what uh, the dimensions on it and I'll talk a little bit more about it while I have it down low so you guys can actually see the RDA. So here we go. All right, bring this up a bit. Back, I'm gonna have a vape. Mind if I have, do you guys mind? I have a vape real quick. <laughs> All right, macro. Oh, here we go. Let me get this over here. Perfectly set. All right. This is the packaging that the RDA comes in. You'll notice it is addressed to the greatest coil builder in America, in the universe, and America, the American universe, all universes, really, quite frankly. This is addressed to me from Tony Berry, 3637. Open it up here. First thing you'll notice here is you get a custom letter from Lou. Um, and it's wrapped actually. So here's a cl the cloth that it actually comes in. He wraps it in this uh, machining, uh, this uh, metal cleaning cloth that you can use to wipe it down after you're done uh, when you're polishing it and things like that. The stuff that comes with the RDA, let's go ahead and just dump this out. You're going to get a card to contact Lou. You have a 30 day warranty on the product. Uh, after that, he will fix it, but it will cost you. Uh, he's out of Hazel Hurst, Georgia's phone number. Contact information is listed there. It is also listed inside the box. This is the actual, this letter that or the uh, message that he sends you is actually wrapped in this uh, wool or twine type uh, uh, rope there, which is really, really cool. I'll read that in a second. Comes with a clear Addy stand, which is just a really, really nice touch, I thought. Very, very cool. You can put it on there. I was actually going to put it on that to uh, show it today, but I ended up putting it on a Merlin and Kim stand that they made for me. Some extra grub screws and three extra O-rings. You'll see what those are for. I got one for the drip tip and then the top cap and then four of these very large grub screws. You guys can see those there. I mean, these things are hefty and they are Phillips head. Here is your second drip tip. So he gives you two drip tip. These are Delrim and they are hefty, man. Look at that. That is a hefty drip tip. Uh, there is an O-ring on it that keeps it secure in the top. This is, I guess you would consider this more of an 810. The one that I used is the 510 style drip tip. So that is what comes with the packaging. Put that back in there. And I'll read through the note that is with your RDA. <clears throat> so, the title of it there is the Ghost RDA. The Ghost RDA was made from certified 304 and 303 stainless steel. Uh, it's insulated on the deck and top cap. Delrin was used for the drip tip. It was created in Jeff Davis County, Georgia by Louis A. Dean, June 1st, 2015. It's a 25 millimeter RDA. Let's see if I can get in there. There you go. 33 millimeter in height. 
and has two 3 millimeter air holes 180 degrees from each other. There is also 10 1.5 millimeter holes that are milled in an angle, creating a vortex mixing your juice for greater flavor. It also it also keeps the drip tip cool. I'll explain that a little bit, uh, a little bit more detail as we uh, go through here. You are now the owner of 141. So this is number 141. So still under. I don't know if he uh, has any serial numbers over that, but uh, pretty crazy that I have the 141st one uh, there made in 2015. It's awesome. Um, please wash before polishing. I will provide a 30 day warranty and provide maintenance for a fee and then Lou signs it there. So that is what comes in the box. Now let's take a look at the star of the show here. This is the Ghost V2 RDA. Let me get this in a little bit better focus. There we go. So here is the outside of the RDA. First thing you see there is that very well done engraving for the actual logo there. So we spin it around here. One thing you're going to notice, this is the actual airflow control of the device. Here's the 1.5 millimeter holes that go around it. There's the three millimeter hole that goes around it. It's the sa exact same on both sides. This airflow control actually controls the airflow for both sides. So it will mirror the other side when you open and close it. If we move this to the right, it actually slides really, really easy. You can basically just push it open and push it close. The machining is so well done that it fits in there perfectly. I believe he's got an O-ring to keep that airflow control in there just a little better, but it moves like silk. You can close down the airflow all the way to the final three millimeter hole on both sides and then close it even more so if you so desire. I'm gonna take this off of here. Just so, let me take the top cap off so I can show you a little better. All right, so there's the airflow when it's closed. So you'll notice first that these airflow, the 1.5 millimeter airflow holes are milled into the deck at an angle and they're angled up. And the intention of that is when the airflow comes in, one, it's gonna come in at an angle and then when it goes inside the RDA, it's gonna create like a vortex and spin around. Two things that that does. One, it's, it goes in and it creates better flavor. Now I've always thought, and from my experience, Honeycomb air flow has the best flavor. And what I think it is, is you have all this air piercing those holes at different angles and different speeds and things of that nature. And when it gets in there, it just all mixes together, spins around. That is a very layman explanation of what it does. But the other, so the one thing, the benefit to having it, having those holes at an angle like that is better flavor. The other is that the airflow, when it comes in, it's going to angled up and stick to the RDA on the sides and the top so that it goes up and cools the drip tip and cools the RDA. So that is the two intentions of those milled upward airflow holes. Uh, here is your serial number. It is the Ghost 141. So there you go, milled into the deck. Here is a symbol on the outside, a face of a ghost, which is really, really cool. And here's the opposite side. So you have your airflow control on one side controlling both, and then you have your opposite side, which is basically a mirror image of the other side. So looking at it here, the first things you're gonna notice is this top part, right? So here we go, 25 millimeters across, 33 millimeters to the top. You have the drip tip, it's gonna come in about 40 millimeters. Taking the drip tip out, sits in there real nice and snug. And again, you can see how well made this Del Delrin drip tip is how heavy that is, and just nice fat drip tip. Um, again, this is the 510 version. Has a nice O-ring there that keeps it nice and secure. The top here, he put a Delrin ring around the top, and the intention of this, and I actually watched a review for this before I did it, and it was by uh, Mark Fagan. Mark Fagan did a review for this back in like 2015, um, and he actually commented on a post I made on the vape team about it, and he said that this is pretty much his favorite RDA, or at the time it was his favorite RDA, which I thought was really, really cool. And Mark said in his review, I didn't know what this was for, but ultimately what this is for is to keep the drip tip cool and to keep this area here around the top cool so that it doesn't overheat and burn your lips when you're vaping it. And I thought that was uh, just a really, really nice touch, something that you don't really see any of anymore that I can remember. Um, so just a really nice added touch. 
inside, you get a little bit of a concave type construction up to that second layer of the RDA. Um, you can look in there, look how thick the machining of that RDA is. Look how thick the top cap is. Look at the airflow control and how thick that is as well. And I'm telling you, the airflow, on, the airflow control on this, let me just move it so you can see. Look how easily that moves. I mean, it is, it, the airflow control on it is smooth as silk. See that there. Uh, the machining on here, there are no machining marks uh, anywhere on this that I can see. Um, everything on it is just absolutely perfect. I mean, this barrel is just, it is really literally one of the nicest barrels of an RDA I've ever seen. Um, and I've got quite a few. So, I mean, I feel like I, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what, you know, good quality is. And this certainly is right there. Full stainless steel construction. One thing I did not mention, the entire RDA is stainless steel, including the 510 pin at the bottom. Now, something a little different here. We'll look at the bottom of the RDA. So here's the bottom. Uh, he has his brand on there, the LMMS Luz Micro Machining Shop, made in the USA. I'm not sure what the 716 stands for. Um, I could have a guess, maybe the date it was originated, uh, July 16th, something of that nature. One thing you're going to notice there, look at the 510 pin. 510 pin is stainless steel. It's got a ni nice insulator there holding it up. Um, looks like a Delrin insulator around the outside of your 510 pin. It's not adjustable. So you cannot uh, pull this out a little bit more. I would say, just in my opinion, this is not hybrid safe. Um, at least I would suggest not to. Okay, so I'll say this. I would suggest that if you don't, if you don't have experience with me me um, mechanical mods, never use a hybrid, ever. Um, but I would certainly say, even if you did have experience with mechanical mods, that this probably would not be a mod that I would use or uh, RDA I would use with a mechanical device or with a hybrid device. Sorry. Nice beefy O-ring around there to keep the top cap on. And now let's take a look at the deck. So. I have a build in it, um, so you're going to see the kind of side. This, those coils in there are four core square wire 0.3. So those are four wire, four core square wire 0.3 or 0.3 square wire coils. It is a six wrap, and you'll see it is. The, there's so much room in here. It's very generous with how big of coils you can actually put in it. It is a three post system, but each post or each each coil lead gets its own post hole. Sorry, took me a minute to spit that out. So you don't have to worry about sharing a post hole in that middle post. There are two post holes in the middle section post here into your positive feed. These are both, the outside are both milled directly into the deck. Let me see if I can get you down just a little bit more so you can see the machining on this deck is just fantastic. There we go. Let's see, look how, I mean, there are absolutely no machine marks or anything on that. Absolutely beautiful. Phillips head screws, the screws as you saw are very long and they actually go down, you see how far they go down into the, into the uh, post here. You could fit, I would assume, I could have actually, I thought the six wrap was a perfect size for this, um, but realistically you could put in a five wrap and just spread it out or even uh, seven wrap and just bend that uh, lead a little bit more. You have plenty of room against the side here. I didn't move them to the center. I typically don't. I know a lot of people do. Um, I didn't really feel the need to. And you have a pretty good juice well. The juice well, I believe is five millimeters deep, but I've had absolutely no problems with leaking or anything on this. The reason being is that the airflow holes are high enough that when you put it on here um, and they're angled up, so you're not going to have a whole lot of leaking coming out of this RDA, or at least I haven't had a whole lot of leaking coming out of this RDA. All right, so that is the Ghost 2 RDA. Let me wick it up, and then we'll bring it back up top, and we will talk about it. I'm going to be using some of these coil threads that I... These are like the lazy man way of wicking coils, and it's fucking fantastic. I absolutely love these things. Dawn sells these on her site, 
And uh, she always sends me some when she sends me a package. And I, I don't use anything else. I think the cotton is really, really good, first off. And they're just super convenient. Plus, they're already fluffed out fairly well. So you really don't need to fluff the cotton out very much. So I'll go ahead and put this in here. Pull it through. I'm going to leave my uh, cotton length pretty long. So I want to make sure that I get it all the way down into the uh, coil sit fairly high up compared to the deck. So it does not have a squonk pen. I don't know how this thing would squonk um, if it did. It's certainly just a dripper. So not something I would actually try to squonk. All right, cut these off. Let me get my dental tool. And we'll fluff this out just a little bit. There, let's clean these up. All right, that looks pretty good. Put this in here. Yeah, that juice well is nice and deep. I gotta bring this one all the way around. Sit it underneath the coil. One thing about these three post decks, and as many of you know who use these, is one side is you're always squeezing in the one side. Because it doesn't always fit in there perfect. Take this one, put it in here. Another thing you wanna I always believe in leaving it a little bit open with your wick, like down below it. I don't know where I heard that, but I always follow that mantra that I just leave an air hole or air pocket underneath the coil. I don't know if it does anything or not, but that's what I do. So, so if anybody else, if you've heard that before, put it in chat. So I, I know that I can't remember who, who told me that, but it's a long time ago. All right. Put it there. Give me a little air channel there underneath it. All right. Wicked up clean all this cotton up. We'll throw it onto a uh, mod and we will vape it. Going to be using some Hassle Off, which is the salted caramel uh, by Jane. Her One of her new flavors, bring it up just a bit. Putting this onto my dot mod. I actually really like this mod. I, I like more of a boxy style mod. There we go. All right, let's see. Click this on. And let's juice this thing up. God, this stuff smells good. It smells like somebody is is um, making salted caramel brownie, brownies or something. This stuff smells fantastic. and wicked. One thing I want to do, before I put the cap on, I get kind of particular about this stuff. I just want to clean this up just a bit. I always do that. Once you wet your cotton down, you can kind of form the cotton exactly how you want it. So I always, I get kind of particular about that for some reason. All right, let's take it back up top. Here, main. All right, that is the Ghost 2, version 2, RDA.
by LLMS. I'll tell you, I, I could not believe um, when I when I first got it and I took it out and you guys were I was live when I did it. Um, I couldn't believe how what a generous thing this was for for uh, for Tony to send this in lieu and uh, how greatly I appreciate it. Uh, this is really a this is a in my opinion if you are a if you are a collector of vape gear, which I, I feel like I am, I don't have the disposable income to really be a full collector. Um, but if you're a collector of RDAs, I think this is one that you really should have because I, I, this is one that is going to stand the test of time. And I think you see a lot of innovation in this. Think of this. This was put out in 2015. And you see a lot of innovation, the way the air holes are put in, the milling into the deck. Um, you know, there's a lot of things about the, the, the airflow control and things of that nature, things that weren't really available or prevalent back in 2015 that this RDA has. Um, so, you know, that, that's one thing about it that I'm just really, really happy to have it. So without further ado, let me take a little vape off this thing. This is with the airflow 100% open. It is, I got this at 0.14, and I'm going to take it at 90 watts. I'm going to take it! 90 watts! The flavor is good. The flavor is very, very good. This RDA, though, I think the, the one of the intentions of this RDA and a lot of RDAs back then were to chuck clouds. And it's like beyond any other RDA I have chucking clouds. The, the amount of vapor that you can pull off of this thing is absolutely ridiculous. To fine tune, now, what I think about this RDA and what I, what I, my opinion is one, it's gonna be a really, really cool vape. And the reason why is you have so much room between the coil heads and the top. So there's so much room there for that air to the air to cool down. The other part of it is these these angled airflow entry holes here. With those fully open, it's going to cool down. The air is going to come up right out of those holes, right up along the side of the RDA, and it's going to cool down the RDA. It's going to be a much cooler cooler vape. And I, I to, to get a hot vape, you'd really have to crank it up. Um, so if that's your vaping style, that this is going to be something that. You're going to have to put in a really, really hot build, and you're going to have to turn it up and really to really get that nice, warm vape. I think, personally, the airflow angled up like that takes away from the flavor. And the reason why I think it does is with, it come, with the airflow coming in like that, it's kind of going straight up the sides of the, of the, uh, of the side of the barrel, and it's not really getting directly onto the coil. So I think that that does take a little bit away from the flavor of the RDA. Now, if you close it down, so here I'm gonna close it down to where only that three millimeter hole is. If you remember, there's two three millimeter holes, one on either side, 180 degrees away from each other. If you close it down, close all those uh, vortex or inverted milled airflow, 1.5 air holes down, the 10 of them, and take a vape, it's much more restricted the way that I like it. It's not, restri it's not a restricted direct, direct lung. It's a direct lung still, but it's much more restricted than when you do it with all those open. So, And you get a much more flavorful vape. And there. So there, it's a little bit warmer vape, not considerably warmer because you do still have so much distance between the coils and the uh, your mouthpiece here. And the mouthpiece is high; your your drip tip is high, so you're you're really getting away from you know away from the coil to get a nice cool vape. If if that's your style, if you like a nice cool vape, then I'm telling you, this is the, this RDA will work for you. Even today, this RDA will work for you. Things that, so I guess my one con on the RDA would be the design of the airflow for my style of vaping. But again, that's subjective because my style of vaping is more of a restricted direct lung, warm type vape. Um, if you are somebody who's like entering like a, I don't know, like do they still do cloud comps? <laughs> is cloud comps a thing? I don't know. Maybe. If they are, this RDA would really be, would work really well in a cloud comp. It would because literally I'm blowing like, like that's the first thing I noticed. I'm like Jesus, look how much vapor this. Is. Like when I first started using it, um, I went back upstairs to uh, my bedroom and I was in there like doing some things. I took a couple of vapes. The whole room was cloudy. 
I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And this thing, it just absolutely chucks, chucking, <laughs> chucking the vapor. So what are the pros of this RDA? There's a long list. First off, I'm just gonna start by saying this, that it, I may have a, a prejudiced view against, or for the RDA. I really might, because I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna tell you a lot of things I like about it. The machining on it. I think that's the first thing. I think if you ask anybody, if anybody who owns this RDA, the first thing that they would tell you about is the machining. The machining, the craftsmanship is, is second to none. I mean, this is an absolute classic. And I wouldn't, I'm not gonna come out and say it's the, it's the best machine RDA I've ever seen. You know, there's no machine marks on it. I mean, it is perfectly machined. You can tell that this gentleman, Lou, who made this, made this with a lot of care and a lot of attention to detail. And you can tell that the guy really knows what he's doing, man, because he just nailed the, the machining on the RDA. I like the look of the RDA. I think the RDA is unique. Um, it's not something that you see every day, the double top there. I think that is a really, really cool piece to have. I think it would be great if you were uh, with uh, a number of different vapors and um, a great conversation piece to like kind of start conversation with maybe somebody you don't know in the community to say, hey, what RDA is that? Also, you know, it's a ghost V2. You ever heard of it? 2000, you know, guy makes them in Georgia. I think it's a really, really nice conversation starter. And, um, you know, I'm sure that wasn't his intention. But I think that that, you know, being that it is three years old, you know, something you can kind of talk about, maybe talk a little bit more about the history of vaping. So that to me is a huge pro. The Delrin drip tips are fucking amazing. These things are really, really nice. And I wish they would fit in other RDAs because I would certainly use, I absolutely love this 510 drip tip. It is perfect, like, because I have big lips and I like to put my lips all, like, whenever I do something, I can put my lips all the way around it. And this has, you know, not only does it have that high cap, but it has that little ring there. You know what I mean? So you're actually, you're getting no heat at all from the RDA. You could let this run this RDA all day long and not get one, not burn your lips at all, no matter how big your lips are. The innovation with the airflow is a huge pro, even though I think that, you know, I don't think that the intention of the flavor, I don't think that really worked with that, with the milled up airflow. I don't think that really worked, but uh, just the innovation and trying different things. The airflow control is fantastic. How smooth and how easy it is. Um, the, again, going back to the machine, there's a lot of things about the machining. The engraving on it is absolutely fantastic. world class I mean, just world-class metal work. It, it really, really is. Um, in summary, so in summary, this RDA is for, again, for a collector, somebody who collects vaping RDAs, mods, things like that, to somebody who really wants to have a nice piece of vaping history, this RDA is that. It, it checks all the boxes, it really does. It's American made, that's another huge pro. This, um, you know, we have a lot of, well, not a lot, but there's several RDAs that are American made that hold stand the test of time. Look at Kennedy, right? Kennedy has not changed, the, the, the style of the Kennedy has not changed. This is the exact same RDA, it's a fantastic RDA, and today it holds its own with any other RDA out there. This one does the same. But I think that with the look of the RDA and the uniqueness of it with that extra top cap, this I would give the, I'm not saying it performs better than the Kennedy RDA because I don't think it performs as well as the Kennedy RDA and for my vaping style. But I would say that the looks and the uniqueness of it put it above the Kennedy RDA in that respect. There are three versions of this RDA. The first version of the RDA was all brass, or no, it was all brass with copper post. That was the first one with no airflow control. This version two, he put airflow control on it, made it stainless steel, and then there's a third version that he also made some modifications to that he put out right after this one. You can get this RDA, if you like it, from his Facebook page, which the link is below. I believe it is $95 out the door, but it could be a little bit more since, you know, that was $2,015. I doubt it's that much. Or it could be a little bit less. Maybe he has some inventory on hand. His name is Lou. You can contact him for a chance to own one of these RDAs. If you're a collector, I'd see that you go get it. Thanks, guys. All right, so that is the Ghost 2 RDA. I'm going to have another vape. I'll 
I'll tell you too. So I'm vaping the hassle off, which is that salted caramel. At the cooler level, I'm really, really getting that caramel, like just blowing me away, the caramel that I'm getting from the taste from it. So it's really, really nice. It's allowing me to explore different uh, notes of the uh, hassle off e-juice, which I absolutely love. All right, guys, uh, let's say hi to everybody. And don't forget, if you have not reposted from Spaced Coil's page, please, please, begging you, I'm begging you, please, to do that now so you can be entered to win two 50 mils of juice from me, Chai Tots. It's actually Daniel's, it's Daniel's juice. Yeah. So, you can win some of that if you repost. All right. Let's say hi to everybody. Got a, quite a few people here today came to watch the Ghost RDA. Addy. What's up, Addy? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Anarchy Coiled. Anarchy Coiled put a build up on IG uh, recently that absolutely blew me away. It was an Inception build. Absolutely beautiful, man. You are really, really kicking ass, man. I'm, I'm going to be paying much more attention to you, sir. Great job. Big Al. What's up, Big Al? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Haven't seen you in a bit. That hair is driving me fucking bonkers. Big Al, good to see you, man. Super glad you are here, sir. Bill. What's up, Bill? Bill uh, put a link up to another one of his projects. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, a new drill building system that he put together. He can uh, give you some more information about it, but you can see that on the Facebook page, which is, as I've told you, over and over and over and over and over and over. It is the greatest Facebook page on the on Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg confirmed it. He's a member. Mark Zuckerberg. He's a member of the group. He's only a member of like three groups. Mine's one. You guys should be members of the Facebook group. Bill put a post up today of his new system that he designed. Looks absolutely fantastic. Very reasonably priced. But he told me the price of it. I was like, really? It's like, you know, as I'm thinking, you going to make any money on that? Like, that doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's way worth way more than that. It's the price of a cordless drill which is fucking crazy. So check that out. There's a post on there and join the Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, you fucking suck. Literally suck. Wanks. Black Cat Whiteface, that's me. Fucking awesome. Taking the next two days off the show. If you haven't heard, I know, now don't panic. Don't. Bones, the skata, don't panic, sir. I'll be back. I'll be back on Monday. Taking the next two days off to go see my daughter perform in a play called Annie. You remember Annie? It's a hard knock life for us. That, yeah. <laughs> Daughter is going to be in that play. I'm driving to New Jersey to see it. I actually will be right next to uh, about maybe 30 minutes away from Jay Hayes. I don't know if I'm going to go up there or not. I hate being that guy. I like hate being that guy. I'm like, hey! You know, like he's busy as shit. You like that guy. But I may go up there and see him. I don't know. If he's available, I don't know. Maybe I will. I'm going to have plenty of time on Friday because she's at school, so... Maybe I'll do that. Blind J, what's up, Blind J? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Bones the Skater. What's up, Bones? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Super glad you are here. Brian Feeney. What's up, Feeney? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Bubbly Blindly. What's up, Blindly? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Charles McLaren, the mother fucking Baron. You know, he drives a, uh, a Tesla. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. Charles McLaren. <laughs> The other day, I watched a guy I say there was on the news here in Columbus. It might have been. I don't know if it was in Columbus or somewhere else. So, so the Tesla has like an automated driving system that will basically drive the car for you. Like when you're on the freeway, and when it notices a car in front of you, it brakes and accelerates up to a speed that you set it at. Well, some guy got fucking hammered at the bar. And then he just put on the fucking automatic driving in his Tesla and was just rolling down the road, sleeping. Have himself a little nap. I thought that was the most fantastic thing I ever heard. One, I love to sleep. Fucking great at it. I'm my, That's my superpower, as you know, is that I can sleep during anything. And I certainly can sleep while I'm driving. I have to fight every day to stay awake on the road. Secondly, I'm fucking great at drinking. I can't do it anymore, but I'm fantastic at it. Ask anybody who knows me. I'm great at it. So that would be my perfect car. <laughs> anyway, they arrested him. They pulled him over like, are you drunk? He's like, uh-uh. I didn't see what happened, but I can imagine what, like, happened. You know, they pull him over. He's in his fucking Tesla. Like, he's driving a Tesla. He's like, nobody's going to pull me over. I'm in a fucking Tesla. Like, I'm awesome. Nobody's like, I don't have to obey your fucking laws. Look at my car. Tesla! They fucking pulled him over. Busted his ass. Drug him out. He's fucking wasted. They showed him. He's like some rich dude, you know, like his real nice clothes, all fancy. Fucking hammer. He's, like, stumbling around. They had the footage. It was fucking funny. 
Uh, where am I at? Bones. What's up, Bones? Feeny, I did. Bubbly. Charles. There he is. Charlie. What's up, Starly? How you doing, man? Is, is, your, is your partner here? He better be, motherfucker. Hold on. Let me check. Clutch. Did you not show up? Clutch didn't show up today for the Ghost 2 RDA. Charlie, I need you to take note of that and action, sir. Good to see you, Charlie. Chessie! What's up, Chessie? Hope you're feeling better, hon. Good to see you. Super glad you are here. It's Dustin Kendall. What's up, Kendall? How you doing, man? Great to see you, sir. I'm very happy you are here. Frank Einstein. What's up, Frankie? I don't do the Frank. I like used to for like, I don't know, six months. Every time I say Frank, I'm like, Frank. Give him a dirty look. I don't do that anymore. Reason being is I, I feel bad because I... Oh! Another person, Mighty Zogberg, or Ralph Zogberg, as I like to call him. You would see this on the Facebook group if you were a member. He should be. That uh, he did not, he got a package today. It was an empty envelope. Just so you know, the envelope, something's happening in the United States postal system. I don't know what it is, but it's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. We're being attacked. The Vapid Five winners are being attacked by the government, is what I think. They're pulling the prizes out of the packages. And then to add insult to injury, they'll give you the, the envelope, but nothing in it. Like, it isn't a fucking letter, dude. It's like a, it's like a, like a, a dust. And the package I sent that in, uh, Ralph Zogberg, that's your new name, Ralph. But Mighty Zogberg is now Ralph Zogberg. I've named him. Now, you'll know what that joke is if you're actually a member of the Facebook group. But I sent everything in there in a triple insulated uh envelope it's like there's no way it just opened and stuff came out there's no possible way that it did aside from wrapping it all in tape which i could have that that's the only thing i didn't do but it was securely in there i've had no problem with those envelopes at all and somehow the envelopes open and everything's gone fucking conspiracy the government is trying to stop the vape at five i won't have it trump it's yes, top of the vape at five no way we'll duel 12 paces sir turn around I can't say that. I can probably get arrested for saying that. I would. I wouldn't deal with anybody, Trump. Don't worry. I would deal with anybody. I would run. They'd be like, say, take twelve paces. You just hear, and I'd be running down the road with my musket or whatever the second thing. Remember the <laughs> with my little musket gun. I'd be like, I don't know how this thing works, and I would just be running away. <laughs> so don't arrest me, Secret Service. Where am I at? Great. Well, great. There's Woom. What's up, Woom? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here, Ian Thomas. What's up, Ian? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Jane! What's up, Jane? How you doing, honey? Honey! Jane, we wrapped up another Shy Tots week. It's been a fantastic week. Thank you, as always, for your support and love. I absolutely love you, and you know this. You are the best. And uh, supporting the channel. And, you know, I think the most important thing to me is, is you know, obviously, my relationship with you is fantastic, and I enjoy our relationship. But getting your e-liquid out to people that may not have been uh, exposed to it or I've seen it before uh, is really a great, because I love to get the feedback that, oh my God, it's fantastic. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I love hearing that from people. Be like, yeah, I'm glad I turned you, you know, I feel good because I feel like I've turned somebody on to an excellent product, excellent quality from an excellent person, somebody that I adore. So good to see you, Jane. Glad you are here. Jennifer Bryant. What's up, Jennifer? How are you, hon? Great to see you. Super glad you are here. Joey. To the motherfucking O. What's up, Joey? How you doing? Regulating, brother. Kate Nicole. What's up, Kate? How are you? Great to see you. Super glad you are here. Kim Dixon. What's up, Kim? Good to see you. Lou Rigno. What's up, Lou? How you doing, Nick? Great to see you, man. Mark Pro Vapes. There's a winner for Monday. Good to see you, Mark. Glad you're here, buddy. Merle South. What's up, Merle? How you doing? Brother? Good to see you. Kim. What's up, Kim? Thank you for joining. Glad you are here. Otis Redding Church. Church! Now, I saw a comment that you said you told me what I would have to do for you to name yourself Otis Redding Church. I need you to tell me again. At least send me a message and let me know. I can I can think about what I need to do or somehow to get around it so that you will be Otis Redding Church for a day. Good to see you, Church. Glad you're here. Raven Shadow. What's up, Raven? How are you? On? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Hey, look who's here. Space Coils. Daniel. What's up, Daniel? How you doing, man? Great to see you, dude. Glad you are here. Thank you for joining, sir. Great week, man. We had a great week, didn't we? Great week. Normally, the feature weeks are five days, but... My kid wants to be fucking Sissy Spacek or something. I don't know. So she wants to be in a play, and I got to watch it. Normally, we should have five days of love today. Or this week, you only get three. We pack, we pack the Black Cat fam packs a lot of love in three days. Yeah. We're lovers. We'll love the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Daniel. Glad you're here, man. Stephen Aiken, what's up, Stephen? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you are here, sir. Nurse Vapes, what's up, nurse? How you doing, hon? Great to see you. Thank you for joining. Tracy, what's up, Tracy? How you doing? Great to see you. I gave Tracy one the hand check today. I had to give her a hand check. Gave her the hand check that I currently had, which was my uh, my 
pod system and some salt nick that I was vaping on. That's my ghost vape at work. That's my stealth vape at work. I had my, uh, but I did have my Rebel. That's what I have in the car that I use for the, the ride back and forth. Good to see you, Tracy. Glad you're here. Nobody cared about what I just said. Baby Iris, what's up, Iris? Good to see you, man. Glad you are here. Vaping mechanic. What's up, John? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. What kind of mechanic are you, John? Curious. Do you do, like, are you auto mechanic, airplane truck, whatever? I was always fascinated with it. I was always fascinated with doing things with machines and things like that. And I absolutely have no clue. Like when I, my dad, my dad, my dad was funny. He still is funny. But like when I would like try to help him, he'd be like, get the fuck away from me. Go inside, give me another pathway ribbon, tell your mom to make something to eat and then go back inside. I'd be like, but I want to want, no, you're not helping me. Go away. I've, I've, I've since taken on that personality and do the exact same thing to my kids. No, I don't, I don't, well, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> Good to see you, Katie. Glad you're here, man. Who's vaping now? Selena. What's up, Selena? How you doing, hun? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Selena, <clears throat> personal message to you. I did not get your package out. Your package is right over here for the Black Hat Care package you, you're going to purchase. I'll get that out to you next week. I'm super sorry. I did not have time to do it this week. We had some things go around in, at the home life here that kind of uh, restricted me from doing anything other than working this show and dealing with that. So I didn't get a chance to send it. I will get it out to you next week with love. Promise. Uh, Wood Tick Mike, my brother from another mother, Mr. Wood Tick Mike. All right. I just ran my affer for 50 minutes. What do you think about that? The next review I'm doing is going to be on the Rebirth RDA by Mike Vapes and Hell Vape. I'm excited to do it. I'm excited to do it. I, I had, as I had mentioned before, I had never owned or used a product by Mike. Um, just hadn't. And like I said, I had stuff from him in my cart and I just never bought it. And uh, I should have. And I'll tell you, this thing really met my expectation and exceeded it. Really did. It is a, uh, it's a great RDA. It really is. And I actually, it's one of those, like I'll probably get two. Like I have three BF, BTFCs. I have four Warriors. Like the ones that I like, I tend to, tend to buy and then put them on different things. I've only been vaping a single coil. And before I review it, I want to vape a dual coil in it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to change it up to a dual, a dual coil uh, probably tomorrow or tonight before I leave. Just so I have it for the weekend just to give that experience. But with a single coil, it is, it is fantastic. You would think, with such a large barrel, and uh, with it not having any kind of um, any kind of chamber reducer in it, that a single coil wouldn't be that great of a vape. It is. Single coil is a fantastic vape in it. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'll do that review probably when I get back. Might do it next Wednesday. Maybe I'll do it next Wednesday. We'll do it live. And I have some more products coming in that I got to review, and we'll do those. All right, let's do the giveaway for today, which we have two. The first giveaway we're going to do is for five 50 mils of Shy Tatsi liquid. Now, as always, I have a question that I will be asking you here in one moment while I scroll through my phone. Let me find Jane. There she is, Miss Jane. Miss Jane, for a song for you. Jane, there's a song written by, by Starship. Remember that song? Jane, Jane, Jane. Da, 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 da. Remember that song? Dude, probably not. No? Okay. Well, I do. I remember all kinds of things. Too bad I can't remember like what I did yesterday or like 10 minutes ago, but I can tell you a song from 1983 called Jane by Starship. Yeah, I got that going for me. All right, today's question is, so as you know, Jane is very... Um, supportive of builders she is a builder herself and very very large part of the vaping the building community when she started her shy tots line and she still does she sponsors builders and she sponsors them you know they they uh do you know post things for her and 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 support her and she supports them in return today's question name one of the two longtime supported builders by Jane Go. Now, you know the list. You've seen the list before. So think of that list and think of who are one of the two longest supported builders by Jane. Go. Oh my God, it's so rigged. Add the album. Yeah. I never had a Starship album, but uh, I remember that song. It was on MTV. Starship was big on MTV in the very beginning. 
They were huge. Um, yeah, and so were their mullets. Their mullets were huge as well. <laughs> All right, I got some mind forge. I got some text. You can't, you can't do two, 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 Selena. Yeah, you can. I don't mind. Mind forge. I got ethos. I got taxi gym. A lot of mind forge. Hassleback and space coils. Well, you never know. A lot of mind forge. Jane has just given you a hint. So let's look up the bio, shall we? Is it for G.I. Jane or for Shy Tots? Let me see here. Let's look for G.I. Jane. Oh, they're listed on her, her bio. Fabian is not a supported builder. <laughs> there you see it. But it won't focus. There we go. There is your answer. <laughs> Scott's builds and crafty coils. I don't know if, let me see if anybody got it. I don't think anybody got it. So if nobody got it, then we're gonna have to draw a number. I want a sponsor, says Merle. Yeah, so do I. I, I, I. She doesn't even sponsor me yet. Sponsors the show. So she's like, I like your show. I think you're a dick. That's what she, she didn't say that. <laughs> Get me on the team! <laughs> I got the shirt and the hat. I should, be, I should be on the team. I think <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, there we go. Scott's build. Chassis. Scott's build. All right, so since... None of us looked, or none of us knew that. Now you do. It is Crafty Coils and Scott's Builds. We're going to pull numbers. All right, Jane, we're going to pull numbers. I need a number between 1 and 150. Go. One and 150. 1 and 150. I watched a, watched a special on Elvis last night. It's pretty great. Now, if you, most of you, I, I'm sure you, everybody knows who Elvis is, but uh, my mom was a big Elvis fan. She wasn't like an obsessive Elvis fan, but she liked him. And, you know, the damn thing about it is uh, you watch some of his, uh, when he was a young man in his 20s, back in the 50s, a lot of black and white footage and some color. But uh, just how, just uh, something about him was just so engage like it was like something you just could not even for like you know even for a guy like i i was watching it and i was really taken back by like you just can't look away from the guy like there was something about him that was just had so much charisma about him that just made you, you know, like want and, and it's so you know you it's just like he had that he had that it whatever it is you know what i mean he had it and um you know just you can see why he was so popular it's just like you see the guy and it's just like yeah like, I can tell, you know, sometimes you see stars and you're like, I don't understand the, the appeal of that person, whether it be a male or female, doesn't matter. But with him, it's like, yeah, you can tell immediately, like, why people. And then, of course, his voice, and his voice stands up today as like, you know, he's singing songs. They played some of his, uh, he went live from Hawaii, and it was like the largest broadcast ever of, um, of a concert. And it went to like, I think he's went to a billion people. Went to every country, every, you know, civilized country in the world, and had a live feed coming out of Hawaii for the show. And like he was singing these songs, and it was just like fucking amazing. And like this guy's voice is just unbelievable. Um, just, it was, yeah, so it's a really, you know, and I think stuff like that, dealing with music like that, I find really interesting. And, you know, I, I, I it was like an hour and a half documentary. I watched the whole thing. That was really great and engaging. I really enjoyed it. All right, so 1 to 150. Let me grab I think we got to hit the uh, stop button, my brother. <laughs> Jefferson Airplane Double Album. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, 1 to 150. First number is 46. Second number, closest to the number, wow, it's 43. And the third and winning number is 92. Closest to the number without going over. All right, we're looking for 92. Year I graduated high school, matter of fact, 92. I saw an 89. All right, we're going back up to the top here. We're starting with 
So, thank you, church, for putting that line in there. Got a 78. Mr. Pebble is our leader. 78. 86. Merle South. 86. 86. Dustin Kendall. You guys always do 86, I think, don't you? 86. 83. 99. Two over. 89. Joey, the motherfucking owl. 89. Did anybody beat 89? There's Boob and Tommy, 92. <laughs> I think 89. Joey, I think you won, dude. Oh, that's great. Let me just make sure, man. I don't want to rob anybody. 89. Anybody beat 89? So I'm looking for a 90, a 91, or a 92. 89. We got a winner. Joey! To the motherfucking O. All right. Congratulations, Joey. Get all the way back down. Here. Put your name in here. Now we got another giveaway, so don't go anywhere. Stay where you're at. Stay put. I lose pins like it's my job. I, I do. I lose like it's the dumbest thing. Oh, right, here's one. All right, I'll shut up. So today's Wednesday's giveaway is Joey to the motherfucking O. Joey O. All right, congratulations, Joey. Good. Glad you won, my man. Congratulations. All right, second giveaway is for two 50 mils. Now, to enter this giveaway, focus. To enter this giveaway, like I'm talking to the camera like you can fucking understand. Don't understand me. He doesn't know what he's doing. You had to repost a picture from Spaced Coil's page with the hashtag BlackCatFam and tagged uh, Spaced Coil. So, Daniel, if you did not do that, please do not enter this giveaway. If you did, if you did not enter, if you did, if you did not do that and you enter and you win, I can't give it to you. So save yourself the heartbreak and emotional stress that that would cause you and don't enter. So hope you entered. Anyway, give me a number between one and 150. Go. Oh, Space coils. Give away. There we go. 78. First number. Mr. Pebble. I had Mediterranean food today for lunch. It wasn't very good. Good Mediterranean food is fantastic. Good Mediterranean food is really, really good. Very high on the list for me. The place that I went that was not good. It was not good. And uh, I fought through it. They have a, so they have this garlic dip. And if it's done well, it's really, really good. And if it's not done well, uh, it is really garlicky. Like, really garlicky. It's almost uneatable. It's almost uneatable. And I, I, I powered through it. But, uh, man, like, I'm just, like, I taste like a garlic. I can just, like, taste garlic all through my mouth. And, like, I'm sure that, like, I'm sweating it out of my body, like, as we speak. It's fucking awful. <sighs> Phil, you can, uh, you can, you can enter, Phil. If you already, if you repost it, enter, dude. It don't matter. Yeah, you can get, always do. NVR sent you. I'm not, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that, Jeff. Not touching it. <laughs> oh boy, that's a that's that's a tough one to leave alone. That's a tough one to leave alone because it's so funny. It's so funny. People don't know what it is either. But some people, why is it all blurry down here? What size is that over here? Why is it doing that? My cup. The Huh, that's weird. Oh, it's the reflection off of the paper. It's messing up my green screen. Garlic is awesome, Fabian. I love garlic. I absolutely love garlic. And typically the garlic sauce is really, really sweet and nice, but it was just, it was just, I was like eating a straight clove of uncut garlic. It's tough. All right. Eddie, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? All right, we got our entries. Here we go. Here we go. Closest to the number without going over is going to be the winner. First number, 73. Second number is 85. And the third and winning number is 121. 121. Focus. 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 Now, you can see it good enough. 121. All right. Let's see who won. And I, church, thank you for putting the line in, church. Appreciate it, buddy. 
86 is our leader. 86. 110 misses Pokey Vapes. 110 misses Pokey Vapes. 119, Charlie. I don't, Charlie, I don't know if anybody will beat that. 119, Charlie. Charlie, you won. Congratulations, brother. I will get that out. Now, I'll mention that before I go. Good job, Charlie. That is our second winner of the day for two. 50 mils of space. It's great. Space. It's space. Uh, what, what is it actually called? Space Man. It's fantastic. I like it. It's really good. You'll like it, man. Congratulations, brother. I don't know if you've ever had Shy Tots or not, but you're going to be addicted. That's what Jane told me when she originally sent it to me. Because I was like, I had so many songs or some. So she sent me some. And uh, I w it, she's like, you're going to be addicted. And as soon as I tried Mont Blanc, I was like, I'm fucking addicted to it. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Did I miss anybody? Wait a minute. Did JTH come in with 120? Was that after we were done? Freddie said, oh, that was after. Okay. Because Freddie put 121 in. Okay. All right. Congrats, Charlie. Good job, man. So those of you that won, just know that I'm not going to send things out this week. As I mentioned before, I'm sending stuff out on Saturday, a week from Saturday. So we're going to do all next week, which I'm telling you next week, Put this on your calendar. Next week, we are featuring Drip Kid New York. Now, you know Drip Kid. He's on all over Instagram. Fantastic builder. He sent me a box, literally, a like 10-pound box of stuff to give away. Like, I have so much stuff to give away next week. Next week, we're also going to have him on as a guest. So I'll have him on either Tuesday um, or Thursday, depending on what his availability is. So we're going to have him in. And moving forward, I'm going to have builders on as much as I possibly can, at least once a week. Like, Daniel, there you have an open invitation if you ever want to come on, talk about building and talk about what you're doing and how things are going with your building and things of that nature. Open invitation. Uh, other builders that I've featured, open invitation to you. Now, during the week of your feature, uh, moving forward, since I have the Zoom room now, Moving forward, you're going to that person will get the first opportunity. But if I can't get that person, then if you want to come in and talk about your building, you can certainly do that. And I think I believe I'm going to do that on Tuesday or Thursday. So Monday will be the feature day. Tuesday will be either the uh, bring somebody on or it will be a build day. Wednesday's review day. And then Thursday is the free for all where I open the Zoom room up for everybody. Friday is giveaway day. That is our format moving forward for now. Now, it's always subject to change and just how things work. But that is the format that we're going to use moving forward, at least for the time being. So mark your calendars for next week. Be here on Monday. I am going to be giving away all kinds of stuff. I'm telling you, my postage is going to be through the fucking roof next week. I have so much stuff to send out. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So buckle in, get ready. It's going to be an absolute free-for-all. Tonight on the YouTubes, you have Heavy Metal Vapor. I believe he comes on at 9 o'clock. And you have Golf Tea Vapes at 1030. So tune in for that. That is all I believe is on. Heavy Metal and Golf Tea Vapes. Thanks, everybody, for this week. Thank you, Jane. It was another fantastic, super successful Shy Tots week. Absolutely love you. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week. I really appreciate you watching and joining me. Uh, for information on the Ghost 2 RDA, Ghost RDA version 2, please contact the Facebook link that I put below for it. Um, or you can contact me if you have any questions with how I'm enjoying it or anything about it. Please feel free to contact me, and I will certainly... Uh, answer any questions that I can. All right, guys, I love you guys. Oh, drop the shame, uh, train. That is, I, 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 I'm glad you brought that up first, train. Thank you very much for your support in that, and you're always asking me, and I really do appreciate you, man, sincerely. Uh, drop the shame is on a little bit of a hiatus, as you probably know. So I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Um, it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. Uh, it's more my fault than it is anybody else's. Um, I haven't really put as much effort into it and as much attention onto it as I should have. And um, it, it did not, it lost its priority in my life. And uh, for that, I am extremely sorry and I take full responsibility for that. Moving forward at the beginning of the year, Drop the Shame will be back in full effect with me and Yeti hosting it. And we'll be moving forward with every other Saturday, having guests and pushing the show again. Um, so, I apologize uh, for the. Um, I apologize for being lack of, not lackadaisical, but not making it a priority in my life, and um, I certainly uh, regret that. And uh, 
uh, but I will shift the focus back onto that show on every other Saturday at nine o'clock. We're going to do it again with uh, a guest every week or try to have a guest every week. We had some trouble with it and, and, and I'll just be completely honest. We, we couldn't find guests and uh, we were, we had a couple people cancel out on us and it's nobody's fault. It is nobody's fault. Um, but we always try to bring a fresh face in and we have a lot of people like, uh, you know, um, manipulated metals Derek is like at the ready he's like dude I'll do it anytime you want me to I love getting the message out I love talking about recovery and you know I'm so thankful to him because he's at the ready and Nick is at the ready and Fresh is at the ready they'll do it but we always try to bring a fresh face in for somebody that you haven't seen before that can kind of talk about their recovery and everybody's recovery is different so getting a fresh view on it is really really an important thing for somebody not only in recovery but it's really for the people that are thinking about going into recovery that's where that's where the the bang for the buck is in that show. You know, it's our job as people that are in recovery is to help those that aren't that need to be in recovery. And anything that we can do, it's our job to do that. So we had some trouble getting guests. Um, and I always had people come up to me and tell me, hey, I'd love to be a guest, I'd love to be a guest. And I would just lose track of who it was. And so, you know, again, me not really prioritizing and keeping a list of the people that volunteered to do it. I just I just don't remember a lot of times. And, you know, when it come down to it, I, I just didn't make it a priority to, uh, to, to, to get people on. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that moving forward. And we're going to get some good guests for you guys in uh, 2019. And we're going to start to show up now. I don't know if it'll be, you know, I don't know how, the long term of it. I mean, ultimately, when we first started this, uh, it, when we first started going down this road and doing the show, it was always our intention that we would pass the show on. Drop the shame is its own thing. Like, drop the shame is not Yeti and I. Drop the shame is its own entity. No matter who is the host, no matter who's the guest, no matter whose YouTube channel it's on, that doesn't matter. That's not the point of it. Nobody owns it. It's just a thing that Yeti thought up that he asked me to join him on, and we've always said that it will always go on regardless if it's he and I hosting it. So I will tell you this, that in 2019, we will start it out again with Yeti and I. I don't know if that'll change. It may change. There may be different hosts, but the hosts are going to be just as good as we are. And, you know, we're always going to be in some way involved in the show. He needs a manager. <laughs> Jesse just offered. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we get Chessie on there. Like, there's all kinds of people. I need to keep track of people that can make a list so we can schedule it out. Because what ends up happening is we... We have a guest and the guest falls through and then we're scrambling trying to get one. And a lot of times we would just go on. We would just go on with it, whatever. And, you know, and then, you know, quite frankly, you know, the other part of it is the viewership started going down. There was, there was episodes that we'd have like, you know, 20, 30 people in there. And it, it just felt like we weren't putting enough into it to really get the audience for to help people. You know what I mean? And, and that's our fault. That's our fault because at the beginning we were we were really advertising and really pushing it out there, talking about it, and we were getting the audience and we were affecting and that you know helping and affecting people in a positive way and that's what we wanted to do, and we kind of lost we kind of lost some of that and and you know I take full responsibility for that so uh, heartfelt sorry for that honestly. All right, guys, I hope everybody has a fantastic night. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Enjoy it with family and loved ones. We're getting ready for Christmas. You haven't done your Christmas shopping? Go out and do it. Get it done. All right, guys. Love you guys. I will see you Monday. Vape at 5. Get ready. Next week is going to be freaking crazy. If you're in recovery, stay strong. I promise I will too. See you Monday.